guys, I just wanted to quickly share with you a small Milani makeup haul. It's not really a haul because it's only three items that I found at Walmart. And I wanted to get this out there as soon as I could so that you guys still have a chance to buy it if you wanted to. Because these are really, really cool. Um, I've done this video. This is the third time I'm trying to do it. And I've never been happy with it. I don't really have any areas to swatch so I have, I like can only use my hand and it makes it a little bit hard. So I'm going to swatch the lipsticks on this hand. And I'm going to swatch the eyeshadows on this hand. So I have eyeshadows and lipsticks to share with you today. I only have two lipsticks. Like I said, I, I only got the stuff that I thought I would really love and that you guys also might like. So first of all, I've got once upon a time, which is, uh, a beautiful shimmery, metallic green color and these lipsticks smell sweet they're very reminiscent of old school mac lipsticks if you ever used mac this is the color and when you swatch it that is what it looks like and the formula goes on very smoothly very quickly very smoothly but being being a bullet lipstick they also come off and smudge very, very, very fast. Um, sorry, I had to go get this. I have this stuff here. This is called Lipsticks. Um, S-T-I-X. And it's a lipstick sealer. And I've used this a handful of times. I haven't used it very often because I prefer Kiss Proof you know, lipsticks. This smells semi-strongly. Um, it smells kind of like a mix between alcohol and nail polish remover maybe um, and you just put this over your lips and it makes it kiss proof so this is what that looks like up close it's a very very old bottle I don't know if it's even still good or not I bought it when I was in New Zealand that's how old this is so um, they they do sell things like this to make your lipsticks kiss proof and that should help with some things but this smears so fast um, the other color is love bites and this is a very candy apple red color this is so so beautiful this is what it looks like in the tube and when you swatch it it looks like that excuse the cracks in my hand <laughs> we all have them But you can't, I don't know if you can really tell from here, but it is just as metallic as the green. It is like candy apple. It's like candy. It's a metallic shimmer. But I mean, look at this. That is so bad. There's like no, I mean, it doesn't stay at all. Not even close. But um, when it comes off, it does leave a stain. I just wiped my hand on a rag I have right here. It does kind of leave a stain, and the stain does have sparkles in it. So there's that. Um, now for the, woo, this is the eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. It's very small. This is the back of it, and it says a haunted hollow. And I, I thought at first this was more like costume makeup, so I wasn't too sure. This is like $15 almost 16 and the lipsticks are um, almost eight dollars a piece uh, Milani I have used their products before mostly their lip liner so they had a purple and a red lip liner and that's what I used to use way back in the day I still have some I don't think they sell them anymore in those colors so um, to line my eyes and then I'd smear the, the liner and that's how I would make these colors around my eyes back when I first started on YouTube and stuff way 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 back in the early 2000s this is what the inside looks like this is caught in my web and these are the colors and these are actually very highly pigmented I was super shocked I'm wearing the red right now and um, I'm wearing another red with it but I'm wearing red I did notice that the red it's better if you use your finger as opposed to a brush. I couldn't really get much pigment with a brush, but then I like heavy color. Um, I have the first one, Web of Lies, here. It's like a white shimmer. 
but what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and swatch it onto my hand and then I want to show you another palette that I have that costs much much more I mean it is much bigger but it costs much much more so I can kind of compare the pigmentation of both for you guys just so you can see so the first one is web of lies that it's a white sparkle like a white shimmer so um, I'll do two swatches because every time I've made this video I've had to not two swatches two swipes I've had to do it twice so that's what that looks like and it's a beautiful pearlescent white shimmer the next one is called the villain and it's kind of like a coppery coppery brown shimmer and that's what that looks like so it's right here they kind of blend in a little bit but there is a there is a difference in color the next one is called creep it real which is like a just like a brown like a brownish gray color and there's that color now all I'm doing is touching it twice and putting it on my hand I'm not pushing hard this stuff is really 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 good next is cursed curse is a very light color um, every time I've done this it's really really hard for it to show up it's like a sh purple shimmer but you can barely see it you can kind of see it right there so it's three really shimmery shades so far but they're great for highlights and stuff this one is called Bite Me, and this is the red color that I am wearing on my eyes right now. This doesn't even need two swipes, but I'm going to do it anyway. That red is so beautiful. And I don't know if it's just me, but it is super hard, in my opinion, to find eyeshadow palettes that actually have red. I've only seen blues, purples, um, even yellows and greens, but I have so much trouble finding red. So to find one at Walmart that had red was super, super exciting for me and that's actually the whole reason I bought this um, so the next one is superstition and this is a glittery blue color and um, last time I made this video this is actually what I was wearing look at how beautiful that is that's like a metallic shimmery blue next is called nightmares and this is just a dark blue like a matte dark blue and I'm running out of space so there's the dark matte blue next to the shimmer blue next we have arachnophobia which is just a matte black and it's actually not very dark um, I'm gonna grab a couple so this is three swipes and that's the black it's it's not very dark but I do have it here and I smeared it out and it was dark on my face so go figure I don't know what's going on there maybe with a brush that one's darker but the red definitely with your finger is darker Lastly, I have Venom Shots, which I'm going to put at the top of my hand, and this is the purple equivalent of that blue, so it's a beautiful shimmery blue, or purple color, sorry. So this is the whole palette right here, and all the colors are so gorgeous, and they are so dark, and so well made, especially for the price. I mean, I know $15 is actually a lot for something this small, but it's well, well worth it. Now, I've got this palette as well. This is a Sorceress palette from Jolie Beauty, and this was $53, and um, I got this because it has chameleon shades and glitter shades. This is what the inside looks like. It says, you look simply bewitching, and then these are the colors. So, um, Transform and Shapeshifter both change color. And I can never get it to show up on camera. I think there you go. Yeah, so it's purple to green and then like a purple to pink kind of color. So in case you don't know where you're looking, you're looking right here at these two. So they change color, which is freaking awesome. The pressed glitters are, they, you don't need anything to get the glitter to work. I'm actually wearing the glitter on my eyes right now. I'll show you tarot. Uh, so this is tarot. I'll put it here. That's the glitter. And I usually just dot dot it on. I don't I'll, you know, swipe it. I don't know how other people use pressed glitters, but that's what I do. This is spirit, which is the purple glitter. And it's got its own like ad adhesive in it, so you don't need a binder, which is what's cool. 
and I just dot it over my eyeshadow just to kind of go along with whatever eyeshadow I'm wearing and it seems to work really well and I haven't really had a problem with fallout I just dot 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 <laughs> um, so what I'll show you from here is um, so there's no corresponding shades which is the problem because I want to show you <clears throat> I, I do this every video. This is the third time I've made it and I still have no idea what I'm doing. So I will show you, I guess, um, Nightmares, which is the matte blue. I'll put it uh, right here, the dark blue. And then I will show you um, Powerful, which is their uh, Jolie Beauty's dark green just so you can see the comparison on how pigmented the colors are. So it definitely matches up. Um, this little Milani compact here matches up to a $53 compact. Um, here is a purple one called Sorceress from Jolie Beauty. So you can see like they're all so pigmented and long lasting and I think that for something you can just walk into Walmart and buy if you're lucky it's a good buy so I just wanted to share that the only reason bringing this out is to show you how it compares to this but um they actually have a new one out called um well it's on pre-order and it's called vampire and it's all shades of like black and red and yellows and stuff and I've already I've I pre-ordered that it just hasn't come in yet because they haven't released it yet but I'm super stoked for that and I can do a little video if you guys want to see it I don't know if this stuff interests you or not but I just wanted to share it so there you have it and you know as much as I wipe my hand they stay I mean this is a really good palette I mean it, it doesn't come off very easily and it is comparable to the higher price palettes as well that definitely does not want to come off. I'm going to have to put some makeup remover on my hand. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. So let me know what you think. Which color lipstick was your favorite? Do you like the palette? Do you want to see Vampire when I get it? And uh, yeah, have you seen it in your stores? And I need to find it again so that I can get myself another one before the season is over because I think certain things like this, um, they get to be really hard to find especially as it gets closer to Halloween. I've noticed this year that there's hardly any Halloween stuff out. Uh, I don't know if everybody's already bought it up, which I highly doubt, or if the stores just really aren't stocking too much, which is more what I kind of suspect. But it sucks because usually by this time, there would be a lot of Halloween stuff out. And everywhere I've gone, there's really not much, and it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So I will keep my eye out for that. So I can pick up another one and um, yeah, that's it. I guess I will see you guys soon and take care and let me know what you think about the makeup.